Heard you missed me. I'm back. Sorry the show took such a long break. I have no excuse for it other than the fact that I have completely and totally lost my mind. So, if any of you find it, be sure to mail it to me so that I can prepare it for mass distribution. Then everybody will be able to experience insanity the same way I do. <laughs> Today on the Cup of Linux Spotlight, I have two distributions you should be downloading and trying out right now. And these distributions are also ideal for giving out to family and friends. Today, it is Solus Budgie and Mint Mate right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. We're going to start out with Joe Johnson's suggestion. He is a staff member on the Cup of Linux forum. And this is the OS which he shipped on this same ThinkPad that I'm using right now to produce the show. I cannot thank you enough, Joe, for your contribution to this. This allows the community to experience a cup of Linux in 1080p. And we're going to find out right now why Solus is an excellent choice. Okay, let's begin with Solus Budgie. Now, this is based on the GNOME desktop. And uh, this is an elegant-looking desktop, I must say. I just wish it had a lot more uh, customization options. Options like you would see in other desktops like XFCE, KDE, or Mate that we'll see later. But this is nice in its own right. When I was going through and looking at this distribution initially, I was thinking to myself, geez, this would be a perfect distribution for my mom to use because, you know, she doesn't have, you know, any technical uh, experience with computers. Pretty much, you know, I configured her Linux desktop for her and she uses that, uses it that way and she's pleased with it. And this would be an ideal distribution for that. And what's nice about it is it's easy enough to use that you could actually use this without ever having to open up a terminal because pretty much everything you're going to need for this you know to control this is included in here there's a little icon in the lower right corner of the screen here where you can look at your calendar you can configure your sound options and your uh, inputs okay and uh, all of your notifications will appear right here furthermore if you press the gear icon, everything that you're going to need to configure the budgie environment is controlled from this applet right here. Okay, and uh, like I said, there isn't a whole lot of options. But the thing is, if you don't need all those options, why have them, right? So uh, I can understand for those people who don't want to, you know, that don't want a complicated desktop, they just want to have something to get the job done, this desktop is perfect for that. You can manage your style, you can manage your desktop, your fonts, and the windows. You even have some applets thrown in so that you can customize the panel. My only complaint with this was, let's say I want to move the calendar to the panel, there was no way that I could see right off the bat on how to do that. However, I can right-click an item here, and I can uh, unpin it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I think I think I figured it out. Let's open up the calendar here. All right, here's the calendar, and I can. Well, I'll be. Let's close the calendar now. And... <gasps> I figured it out. Goodness. <laughs> so you can easily. You can't drag and drop, but I figured out how to pin items here. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so you can customize uh, all the applications you have right here. That's kind of neat. So, cool stuff. All right, well, let me give you a rundown of what you get with this desktop. Just a handful of accessories. Um, a simple text editor and the calculators thrown in. Um, just the LibreOffice suite is thrown in. So if you want to do some uh, graphics editing, you're going to have to install the GIMP yourself. Uh, a few internet tools, Firefox, Hex, Chat, Thunderbird, and Transmission. 
So you don't have a whole lot of applications. Some of these applications you're not going to use. You can easily uninstall them and then swap them out. I'll show you the package manager here in a moment. All right. As I stated, LibreOffice is uh, thrown in here. Uh, MPV, my personal favorite media player, and Rhythmbox is thrown in. System settings, everything you're going to need to configure the system is located right here. All right. So let's go, t go ahead and take a look at the software center that comes with this. Nothing really fancy. Just a simple little graphical tool for for uh, managing uh, the software applications that come uh, with this so you can uninstall or you can basically uh, install new programs so if you want um, some new multimedia or graphics tools uh, there they have several different categories that you can go into and then a list of items nothing too fancy but something great for the everyday user okay and then here uh, you have an area where you can install your updates. Also gives you information on all of the applications you have installed. And from here, you can easily uninstall them and swap them out for different programs. And then, of course, uh, there's some third-party applications available to you as well. Ooh, gotta love Sublime Text. That's probably the best one there. And... Uh, Looks like they've got some other third-party programs. Looks like they've got Android Studio here. So if you want to try to uh, get your uh, APKs running on this thing, you can possibly give that a try. So it looks like it's got some good stuff here, and I can see why this is a favorite of Joe. Next in our spotlight is the Linux distribution that convinced me to kick Windows to the curb. That's right, this is the one right here. The only difference is, at the time that I tried it, GNOME 2 was its desktop before they released their Cinnamon environment. And so I figured it would be fitting that we have a nice look at Linux Mint Mate. And here we are as my friend Brian on the Cup of Linux Mumble server often says, some people like their Linux green and minty, and upon opening this, it's like paying a visit to a good old friend, because that's right, uh, Linux Mint convinced me to kick Windows to the curb. I remember back in the day when these uh, images were on a live CD. Um, they were small enough to fit on a CD. It had uh, GNOME 2, and it powered all of the uh, peripherals on my notebook computer without needing a single driver. And that completely blew me away because I had never seen a Linux distribution do that before. And it was at that time that I had determined, okay, Linux is desktop ready for me. Time to roll up my sleeves, quit my daydreaming, and learn this. And boy, am I glad that I did it because, I mean, you know, Linux Mint has started a wild roller coaster ride for me. And I hope that it does the same for you. This is really a really good choice for those of you who are just entering the Linux world for the first time. Manjaro is also awesome as well. Okay, so looking on the lower right here, uh, going towards the left, your calendar is here. I love how that looks. It, it, they, they've really pot, you know, uh, the, the team that uh, develops. Uh, Mate, the GNOME 2 fork, um, has really polished this, and it just looks beautiful. And maybe I should consider using Mate again, although, hey, I gotta say, I love my XFCE. Okay, you have, you have um, their update manager here. It looks like uh, I'm completely up to date. That's always a good thing, especially because I installed this a week ago. <laughs> All right, uh, quick launches to Firefox, your terminal, uh, the uh, file browser, which is very nice looking as well, nicely polished. Uh, if you right click on your desktop here and go into uh, desktop, change desktop backgrounds, this is where you can customize the whole shebang. Okay, uh, you get a whole bunch of wallpapers to work with in the theme itself. Pick any theme that they offer here and then just edit the thing. So you just press customize. You can choose the, uh, the controls, the window borders, the icons, the pointers. 
You can even configure your uh, fonts. And um, looks like they have some interface options here for you as well, too. So very nice here. Ah, it shows you a preview. Okay, cool deal. All right. And, you know, the Mint menu looks like it's had a little bit of polish, too. I like how uh, streamlined and everything and how this looks. Uh, it's very neat the way they set this up here, and it looks like they've even thrown in comp is. And that's the nice thing about this, because the uh, GNOME 2 Mate type desktop is compatible with comp is. So for those of you who like the eye candy, you can use that with this if your processor and graphics card supports it. Moreover, you can even get KWIN, and that has a bunch of really cool effects too. So the choice is yours. Um, has a number of applications thrown in here already. Personally, I wish these distribution uh, makers would offer a slimmed down version to where you get just the base uh, operating system with the desktop and then, you know, you pick and choose which web browser you want, which, uh, you know, media player you want, which other additionals but what they do throw in here is great in its own right you get a handful of accessories uh, to get the most out of the system uh, you get uh, the gimp with this the other one we looked at didn't even have that but you have you have a few tools here okay uh, in the internet you get the same tools that Solus provides the Firefox X chat Thunderbird mail and transmission the full LibreOffice suite is, is uh, included in this, and you also have the option to ins install additional uh, media codecs, rhythm box, and uh, it has a media player thrown in here as well. Number of system tools are thrown in, onboard for those of you who need an on screen keyboard, and all of your administration tools are thrown in right here. You can manage all of your preferences from the screensaver to power management. Everything is all nice and neatly organized. Uh, you can it, the, this menu is efficient in its own right, you know, because you can uh, put all of your uh, favorite applications here. They have some here already for you, but you can remove items from favorites. Okay, then you can go back into all applications and let's say I want to. Uh, make the GIMP a favorite. And just click Show in Favorites, and boom, there it is. So this is really nice. Quick access to uh, your places here and um, some things that you're going to use on a regular basis, maybe, such as your software manager. Maybe you might want to use the package manager. Uh, let's go into the control center and configure things here. It's all right there, quick and easy to access, and lock screen logout. What can I say? This is a beautiful looking OS, and uh, it's well worth your time to try it out, especially if you're new to the Linux world and you want a ton of customization options. It doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. It looks very nice, and so it's well worth your time to try it out. And there you have it. Solace is an excellent choice for those of you who do not need extensive customization options, yet want a user experience which will allow you to have a balance in workflow and functionality. For those of you who need more customization options and world-class community support, Mint Mate should fit like a glove. The best way to find out which of these distributions is the best choice for you is to download them and try them out for yourself. That is all I have for today's Cup of Linux Spotlight. The next show, I have found some interesting, fun little tricks that we can do in Steam's implementation of wine called Proton. So we're going to actually do some wine tricking to it. And uh, so that's coming up next. If you have any show ideas, please be sure to log in at couplelinux.com. That is the only place I look when I need some show ideas. Well, that's all I have for now. Until next time, peace out. Thank you.